What's up guys? This is Rex and in today's tutorial we're going to show you how to set up AudiNet's Dante Via audio routing software. Come to products, go to Dante Via, go to buy Dante Via. Now in the top corner here you see they're offering 25% off until June 15th, 2016. I am not sure how often AudiNet does these sales, but the regular price for the software is $50 USD and with the sale it's $37 USD. So you can keep that in mind when you're looking for the software. Now go to buy on go to buy Dante Via, pick your OS and click download. Click download again. You'll be prompted to save it to the directory that you want and from there you just do a basic install. So once we've done the install, let's go show you how to actually set the software up. Okay, so once you've done the normal install, go to your start menu and just type in Dante. Now, you're going to want to just copy this to your desktop if you want to have a quick shortcut to it. You're going to be brought up to a window and here's your activation screen. So when the activation brings up, you're going to have the option to either activate a current license, buy it, or start your free trial. Just enter your email address and you'll be able to begin your free trial. The trial is 15 days long. Okay, so once you're finished with that, you're going to click OK. It's going to activate your program. And it's going to bring you to the front page of this program where you're going to get this little tutorial page. From here, you want to install Dante Via on your other computer that you wanna connect your audio to and send signals back and forth. Okay, so here you guys can see both of the PCs side by side. This PC here is PC one, and this PC here is PC number two. So uh, for a simulcast setup for streaming or two PC streaming setup, no matter what you're trying to do, you're gonna, if you're wanting to use the software, you're probably wanting to send audio back and forth to each other so you can hear music or notifications or whatever. Anyways, for this video on PC1, we're going to be using Winamp to show you how to set it up, and we're going to use Google Chrome on PC2 to show you how to set that one up. Now, when you come into Dante Via, you're going to see here you have audio sources, local applications, Via devices, and then Dante devices. I will be openly honest, I'm not sure what this Dante devices is, because uh, I know it's hardware related, but Via devices is other computers or other devices connected over a network and local applications is just that it's local applications and your audio sources is your hardware like your mixing desk your scarlett 2i2 usb interface usb microphones anything like that will all be located in your audio sources and up at the top here you'll see mute all stop where you can actually stop dante via because by clicking the x it still keeps running in the background so you actually have to physically click stop and then a cog wheel. So within the cog wheel, you'll see there is your preferences. And under general, you can set what the default audio pull is from Dante Via. And what this does is it actually connects here to your sound device. Because you have, if you go click on your sound settings, you have Dante Via Transmit, and then you have Dante Via Receive. And as you can see, all of my levels right now are going off. Uh, I And I don't know why the, my, why the webcam's going, but that shouldn't be. But the line and Dante Via are connected to each other now. So whenever I talk using the Via Receive, it's actually pulling all of the audio from my Scarlett 2i2 USB audio interface. Up here, we go to Privacy, and you'll see two checkboxes that make new applications available on the network automatically and make new audio devices on the, on the network automatically. I have not used them uh, in this particular scenario because I have had some bugs with it and I had to clear the permissions and all that. But typically what it does is once it recognizes a new application or a new device is available on the network, it automatically adds it to the appropriate list for everyone else to pull from. And then you have your network where you have to select which network you're going to use. And then you ha just have your performance, which is you can kind of fiddle with this if you know exactly what you're doing. So let's close out of there. And you'll see here, there'll be something that says Dante Via is not the Windows default sound device. Uh, that's just that's just here. Just go here, click default sound device, and everything will be hunky-dory. Anyway, now that we have the proper layout for the audio sources, let's look at the destinations. Now, the destinations are all the things that can uh, receive audio or push audio out, really. And you do so by enabling this by enabling this little switch here. And that allows the application to be available on the network for other devices to kind of latch onto and pull the audio data from. 
So with here, we see our speakers and our Scarlet 202 USB interface. We also see Battle.net is now receiving audio from there too. And if we scroll down, we'll see Steam is also receiving audio from the 202 USB interface because that's where I have all of my voice stuff connected. If we look up on PC number two here, we see we just have the one audio output and then we have a microphone that is actually hardwired to the mixing desk through some RCA cables. So we're going to keep that disabled because we don't want to create an echo feedback. But then you see here via devices, mirror PC, Scarlet 2i2. So PC number two, which we're going to call Sputnik, Sputnik sees mirror and mirror sees Sputnik. And Sputnik down here does not have any devices to connect to. So that's fine. The purpose of Sputnik is to be a simulcast machine. So copy the video feed from Mirror and push it to another website like Hitbox or YouTube Live for me, because I do streaming. So what I want this software to do is to send the audio from when I get a follower or a tipper or a subscriber back to Mirror so I can hear it through my headphones so I don't have to have multiple speakers and multiple setups. I want just one setup and this will handle all of it. So let's look at PC2 here and show you how I set that up. So we're going to go here and we're gonna just going to play some, just a really quick snippet of some copy, some royalty free music. And this way you guys can see how it's going to notice when you keep your eyes up here, you're going to see uh, Google Chrome pop up. So let's do this. Okay, so right there, you see that now Google Chrome has popped up in the local applications. So that's that's great. It's good to know that that's there. So coming back to PC1 now, we see that Mirror sees it under the Sputnik local devices. So now we just go here and we go add to mix or add source to the mix. And now we can actually hear everything that's coming from this Chrome tab in inside of Mirror, which is perfect because that sends all the audio signals properly. Now, say I want to send the audio in the reverse way, like I'm playing music on one game and I want everything to be heard on the other PC when it's mirroring over. And we want to send that out to our second PC. So what we do is we come over here onto the second PC and we say add source to the mix. And then you'll get a token that pops up on the on the source PC. It'll say, do you want to allow this this PC to hear what you're hearing? Click yes. And now you can actually send the audio out to another computer. So just like that, it's that simple. That is all you need to do. And if you ever need to just mute, there's just a beep, mute, mute all button. Simple as that. And then unmute it. It's perfect. This is a phenomenal piece of software. And I cannot recommend this enough. There will be a full review on this, but this was just an initial how to set up a Dante via for sending audio back and forth between two PCs. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this tutorial helps you. Uh, Dante via was recommended to me by a Redditor. I can't really say enough good things about this so far to my experience with it. I've probably dumped about 14 hours in testing in the last two days. So this software is something I really want you guys to have a chance to play with. Try the 15 day trial out. Like I said, it's free. There's no reason not to. And it really does actually help solve a lot of issues, especially for people uh, who are trying to do streaming with two PCs. And I know I keep saying that a lot, but that's because I'm a Twitch streamer. It's what I focus on. This is something that can be applied to across all different kinds, DJing, mediums, all kinds of stuff like that. But from my perspective, for a Twitch perspective, this is perfect for sending two PC audio streams together. So check it out. It's Dante Via by Audinet. Just go there, sign up for free, try your 15-day free trial. Contact me if you need anything. I've been Literex, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.